Welcome back to Relaxing Minecraft. Uh, what did this guy turn into? A mason. Okay. Currently, uh, this is episode 5, and I'm pretty much geared up and ready to go to the end. Uh, except for the fact that I only have a single ender pearl right now. And no blaze powder either. <clears throat> I need to go back to the nether. And I'm actually just going to start tunneling. Uh, I'm going to tunnel east. Or uh, no, I'm going to tunnel west. The village is going great. Uh, it's obviously pretty compacted because I don't trust these guys to... hide themselves at night. I think maybe it'd be a better idea if I... Ah, because you see I don't have the diamonds. Okay. Not going to the nether yet, actually. I'm going to go mining for two diamonds and build a uh, enchantment table. Not the fuck? Okay. <laughs> and there goes the suicidal bats. Okay. I'm gonna go this direction now, actually. Oh wow, that freaks me out. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with the rendering this game, but uh I hit this angle and it looked like something was behind me. <laughs> That really got me. Oh my f Jesus Christ. <laughs> Relaxing Minecraft. Okay. Relaxing Minecraft. Ah, there's my two diamonds. Whew, okay. And we're done. We can go home now. And we can make the, uh... The enchantment table. Oh my god. Minecraft is a very soothing game to play, you know, you just walk in a straight line and click, you should don't even click most of the time, you just hold mouse one, just walk in a straight line, holding the same buttons for minutes, and uh, you know, there you go, you're good, whew, okay, so, uh, we're still alive, which is great. I mean, that's what really matters, you know, is that you stay alive. Uh, right here looks fine. Now, if you're watching this, um, when I uploaded it, uh, this is the last episode of Relaxing Minecraft that is likely available right now. The whole idea of this uh, little short series was hopefully to see if I could get to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon in like five hours. Uh, we're a little over five hours right now, I think. Um, Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, we now have iron golem spawning in here, which is nice. Anyway, I think I've done enough talking. Um, none of the sugar cane has grown during this like twenty minutes that I've been talking. <laughs> Great. Last time I went east, and I went quite, quite a far way, and I found nothing. So, this time I will be going west. 
uh, which is this direction. So yeah, and uh, you want to do it in a 2x2. Two two. Uh, the reason you want to do it 2x2 two two is simply because it's going to kind of naturally keep you further back, or a 2x3, sorry. You're naturally going to want to stand further back from the wall. And since you'll be standing further back from the wall, inevitably, when you dig into a pocket of lava, and the lava comes pouring in, you'll have plenty of time to react and to back away from this lava. So I am I have a feeling I'm just going to be bridging a lot, honestly. And we're kind of high up too, so... That was weird. I couldn't tell where that was going. Told you they were I told you they existed. And I finally hit one. It also uh, really sucks bridging over lava like this. I mean when I do it I try not to uh do it the normal way, I guess. And by is he not gonna shoot? Uh, the normal way is to kind of let yourself go off the edge entirely. Even to a point where if you really shift, you will actually just fall off your block. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that at all. Because it's guaranteed death. Like, you're not getting out of that if you fall. So, if you're going to do what I'm doing, go slow. Alright. It is relaxing minecraft after all just go slow you know okay i don't want to do this but i'm going to do it okay fuck that i'm making the bridge safe it's relaxing minecraft guys follow my own advice i should follow my own advice huh interesting there are two endermen over there I'm going to do something probably stupid and uh, bait them up here. Alright. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Here they come. I know you guys can teleport up here. <sighs> well, that sucks. They cannot teleport up here, apparently. And I am too worried to continue bridging in case I I am like one or two blocks off and they spawn on top of me and push me off. So I'm just going to wait for them to calm down and then continue bridging. This guy's still not having it. He's, is he dodging these? He's dodging them. What a crap head. Okay, well. I think the only solution here is to suck it up and continue bridging and pretend like it's all of, it's all gonna be fine. He's gone. Okay. It's all fine now. 
well, I am out of cobblestone. So it is time to go back and get more. Uh, 27 cobblestone. Well. Well. Huh. That is unfortunate. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> there he is. The fortress is, so far, been harder to find than diamonds. Every time I've wanted to go out looking for diamonds, it's taken me like five minutes before I find diamonds. I'm almost at an hour of footage on this. And... Nothing. In fact, I've made less progress than I did the first time when I was just walking. <sighs> Unfortunate. That was interesting. Both those zombie pigments spawned in front of me and then despawned up <laughs> as I was still approaching them. I've not seen that before. There's a guest right here. Preventing Dunzo. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go mining. That's all I can really do. You're holding out that flower too. Why did you jump in here, <laughs> you idiot? The mine shaft again, are you kidding me? Why is this mine shaft literally all over the place? I'm not finishing this episode until I find another fortress. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I will. It is relaxing Minecraft after all. Just calm. You know, you don't have to do everything in one episode, you know. You can you can take a little while and just kinda relax, you know. Get into a rhythm. A rhythm of bridge building with cobblestone and then other over an ocean of lava and death on all sides no safety no there's no safety nets here if you fall that's it you're done there's no coming back there's no one to catch you. There's no one to rescue you. It's just you. And your own wits. That gas is right there. He just despawned. Okay, that's cool. At least now I can get back to tunneling. Whew. Okay. It's tedious. It is long and tedious. And what's the payoff? Personal satisfaction. That's good enough for me. <sighs> Relaxing in Minecraft. Just back up. Take your time. And see, this is why we built the uh, thing three high. So that we can walk back plug up the hole. And that was the wrong kind of hole plugging. Here we go. All better. <clears throat> Whew. 
Whew. Okay. Well, we've made it out to an area where we can walk. Alright, well, we continue tunneling. And there's lava right there. Well, not one. So that's cool. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's a joke, right? <laughs> wow. That's upsetting. That is very upsetting. I was standing in a perfectly safe location. fortress. Funnily enough, I was going north when I found it. Or I was going west. Actually, no, yeah, huh. I was going west. Alright. Before I go exploring and get lost. Oh, wow! Oh, there's a place spawner right there, actually. So that works out pretty nicely. Um... I can just tunnel straight down to that, because I think I'm right here, yeah. But damn, this is nice. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Just make sure I'm paying very close attention to that blaze spawner. Only problem is there is a uh, wither skeleton standing in there, which is not good. Uh, so I have to worry about that. I think I'll just go this way a little bit. Oh. Yeah. So I need to take care of that skeleton as soon as I can. There he is. <laughs> nice. Alright. Damn. I'm really glad these guys are inaccurate as hell. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. deactivating this. Normally it's a lot easier when uh, they're already kind of like enclosed in there. Oh god. I didn't know they chased you like that. That's weird. I don't really have the torches to disable either. Oh Jesus. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot survive getting hit by anything right now. Um, I cannot fight back against a gas. So I really just have to fucking book it all the way back. As sad as it would be, um, to die at all in this playthrough, it's gonna happen. I don't think I can really get through the entire end dragon fight without dying, because I've never, I've never done it before. I think the best thing to do is to take golden apples with you, and do it that way. Um, because those will give you regeneration and heal your food as well. 
and uh, I think they also boost your health. They give you two extra hearts, which is really nice to have. How much does one of these give me? Two. So I'm halfway there to being able to fill in the item frame, or the uh, end of frame. But, uh, well, I found the nether. I got some blaze rods. I need to go back to that fortress in the next one and cover it up so that they can only spawn inside that tiny room and then I just expose their feet and just kind of wail at them for a while to get enough blaze rods. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I actually found it. I was kind of expecting that I wouldn't find it this time and I ended up going into a, an hour and a half without finding one. But I did find one. And I really should have taken more food and arrows with me too. Uh, I won't make that mistake again. I got down to... <laughs> I think that time I got down to half a heart, actually. And that was really close. I've never fought Blaze before. Uh, now I know that they will chase you. And they will actually follow you around corners. Anyway, uh, this has been the fifth and final part of Relaxing Minecraft. I'm not going to record any more right now. Uh, but if part six or more is up, then it should be on the screen right now. So go ahead and check those out. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on this. And sorry for being gone from YouTube for so long. I, uh, I've always enjoyed doing YouTube. I just kind of stopped doing it for a while. But I think I'm back now. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Check out part 6 and more if those are up. And see you guys later.